from your past is a gift in this video I wanted to address something that affects a lot of people okay and they, they don't know how to deal with it so I thought it would be a good time to make this video um, sometimes in our lives people will come in to our lives for a short period of time you know maybe a few months maybe a few years and that's all we get with this person sometimes we'll have people that we're very very close to and we have many many years with them and then all of a sudden there's a big gap like they're no longer there you know we don't call each other anymore and we're no longer in each other's lives and some people really struggle with that they struggle with the accepting you know that that person's not in their life anymore because to them they were a best friend you know or, or very close relationship of some kind today I want to give you some clarity on that okay because for the time that you were together okay I truly believe the people that come into your life are there to help you grow they're the best people they're the ones that you need at that time okay now these close relationships that you had for many years you might have had them for 20 years for example or 30 years or whatever okay at that time you both needed each other to help each other grow spiritually you needed each other in each other's lives and now you don't you need different people in your life to help you become aware of who you are and your friend the other relationship whoever it was that you were so so close to and you're having a hard time letting go of that person you know and you get upset that they no longer call you and they no longer in your life and they no longer need you that is the truth they no longer need you to help them grow spiritually they need what they have around them right now and that's what you have to learn to accept what they have at the moment is exactly what they need to help them see who they really are they need that you know because you gave them your love you gave them your friendship you gave them everything and that's sometimes what hurts people when they're no longer in your life that you know they don't need me anymore this is basically how it goes you know it's they get upset because oh you know it was all right for 20 years you know you're my friend and you're always at my house and I'm always at your place and it was all right for that time you know and but now you know I'm dog poo you don't want to be with me anymore and it's not that it's just that for that person what they have in their life right now is what they need to help them grow you gave them love you gave them your friendship you gave them honesty trust all the wonderful things that are inside of us you gave them so many wonderful gifts and you helped them to see just a little bit of who they are but sometimes in order for us to wake up to who we really are we need people around us that aren't giving us that they're not giving us unconditional love they're not giving us honesty they're not giving us you know all the wonderful kindness for example they're not giving us all the wonderful things we have inside to give and that's what that person needs to wake up to who they are they need the people around them treating them this way talking to them this way you know and it takes me back to my first relationship in that relationship I thought he was more important he meant everything and I was nothing that's what I believed in that relationship that he was more important he was the one that had value I didn't have any value that's what I believed and so everything I did every word every action was towards his happiness what he needed what he wanted what would help him along his journey that was my purpose at the time and it wasn't until I came out of that relationship and many 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 years later that I realized that I am not nothing and that I do have value but at that time 
I thought I was insignificant. And it wasn't because he treated me that way. You know, this, it's so important for people to get this. What we believe in our head sometimes has nothing to do with how people are treating you. Because he loved me the best that he could. He was kind and generous with his time and he didn't do anything to make me believe that. But I'd see his spirit and all his color and his life and I just thought it was so much bigger than I could ever be. You know, like I could never fill that space. It was, to me, it was larger than life. I was so grateful to have been a part of that life. But everything I believed when I was in that relationship was not who I am. And it took me, you know, many, many, like 20 years later to realize, oh, I was good enough to be in that relationship. I was, because I loved him and that's all he needed. That's all anyone needs. You know? That love. That you see that person for who they are. And not for what you want them to be. You want them to be something different, something else, something you know? You just fall in love with who they are, just as they are. That's all anybody could ask for in a relationship with a partner. You know? And sometimes we get these relationships where the partner says just nothing about you that they like, you know, and then that's, again, at least they're saying it to you, you know? In me, it was in my mind. I was making all this stuff up that I wasn't good enough, that he was way better than I was, and in so many ways, I was the one doing this to myself. And sometimes you're in a relationship with someone that is telling you all this. Again, it's to wake you up to who you really are. Whether they're telling you and treating you that way or whether they're not and you're doing it to yourself, both roads will lead to the same. Both paths are trying to get you to the same, to realising who you truly are inside. So I want you to think about that today and be grateful the people that you have around you the circumstances, how you live, where you live, it's all there for you. All there for you. For you to know who you are. For you to wake up to who you are. And the same for that long lost friend that you miss, that you're so angry that they left you. They don't need you anymore. They're the same. What they have in their life right now is exactly what they need help them wake up and one day your paths might cross again you know it's all good it's just accepting that you're not a part at this moment because it's not what they need right now all right my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now